The tunnel grew colder. Miller and I were close to the surface now. Soon, we would climb up into the howling wind to fight our way through whatever nightmares were waiting there. My long journey was nearly at the end. But would I have the courage, the will to see it through? Hey, Artyom. When you left your home station, do you ever think we'll end up in a place like this? Not knowing whether we were about to save our world, or send it straight to hell. Gotcha! We'll have to get through the military outpost to reach the surface. Something's moving in the next floor. Open the gate. Shit is always breaking down in here. Use the auxiliary hand system to open the gate. Ready, Artyom? Follow me. Okay, up we go. Mm -hmm. Seems like nobody's home. Before we hit the surface, put your gas mask on. Without it, we're almost there. This is the Karolev performance room. Let's see the tourists in town. Suki, here they come. Come in, Come in. Over. You're coming through loud and 
clear. Over. Open the tower. I repeat, to open the tower. Did the group move out? Over. Well, that's affirmative. We've made contact. They should be in the vicinity of the tower now. Over. Roger. We'll contact you again when we're at the top of the tower. Get a fix on our location. Glad to see you, Tony. Did you hear that? Listen. What the hell is it? Turn the circle! Life was never easy in the tunnels, but it was our home. There was comfort in its routines, in seeing the same people day after day. But since the mutant attacks had escalated, fear ruled the station. I had just turned 20 and could never have imagined what would follow on the morning that my stepfather's friend Hunter arrived at the barricade. Artyom, you're awake at last, I see. Hunter's on his way in. He should have news from the other stations. Come on. Let's go, Artyom. <laughs> Shit. Pigs, disease. I've been through worse, and I'm not giving up. What's your plan for the dark ones? Hand them all down and shoot them. <laughs> Hello, Artyom. 
The station can't survive much longer if these attacks don't stop. We must do something. What more can we do? was attacked last night. The hospital's full. The situation's under control. What about Mommy, Alexei? Do we he was at the to wait long? Let's go on. Leave him alone. He's been wounded. <laughs> Alexei was in the battle. Has anyone seen him? My the brother is in the hospital. Okay. No visitor. Pieter! Oh, that's you! Was it the dark ones? Under control. The doctor hasn't said anything. How are the wounded? Uh, not much improvement. The Dark Ones do not kill outright, but they damage a victim's mind. Sooner or later, this leads to death. It's Hunter. Mutants don't knock first. Open the damn gate! Welcome to Exhibition, Hunter. Thanks. Now close your gate. It's been a long time, Hunter. Good to see you, Alex. Hello, Artyom. So, Hunter, what's happening in the outside world these days? Not much. Most of what I hear is about the exhibition and the undead infesting your tunnels. <laughs> Artyom, I met a trader selling old postcards of New York City. I thought of your wall. These are not the usual mutant creatures. This is something else. What the hell? Something much worse. <laughs> Dark ones. Well, whatever in hell they are, my order has a motto. If it's hostile, you kill it. Dark ones do not... They're coming in from above! Shit. Just what we needed. 
There are wounded here just behind the wall. The Kirill, take your group to the tunnels. Alex, Hunter... we must stay here and defend the hall. All right, our team, quickly, get a weapon. Damn, they never come this far into this station. It's the hospital. They smell the blood. shot this one. No dark ones here. Just the usual tunnel trash. Even when you don't see them, the dark ones are there. Fear. That's their weapon. That's what made the Nosoluses run through the tunnels like rats. The dark ones are not simple mutants. They're homo novis, the next step in evolution. You've heard about survival of the fittest? Guess what? We lost. What's happened to you, Alex? You can go like lambs to the slaughter. I'll hang on to whatever life I got with teeth and claws. And I'll take more than a few of your homo novus with me to hell. You think you're some old movie cowboy? Have a look, Hunter. Ten soldiers, trained in combat. Their bodies broken, their minds gone. The Dark Ones! They destroyed the outer guard post! what's happening out there, beyond your perimeter. I must go recon the situation. Listen carefully, Atyom. If I'm not back here by morning, you must get to police station and find a man named Miller. Tell him what's happened to me, and what's stirring in the northern tunnels. Show this to Miller, so he knows I've sent you. I trust everything to you, Artyom. Don't let me down. If we are to survive, this threat must be eliminated, no matter the cost. Eliminated. Understand? Hunter did not return. It wouldn't be easy to find an excuse to leave the station and travel to Polis, but I had given my word. I learned that the caravan was heading to Riga the next day, and needed guards. I signed on for the ride. Постой, паровоз, не стучите колеса. Кондуктор, нажми на тормоза. Finally, taking your time as usual, huh? All right, grab your gear, go to the platform. They're waiting for us. I'll meet you there. Hey, Artyom. Don't forget anything, huh? Вот что, перевертаться, бабушка здорова. Вот что, перевертаться, куча ед капот. Вот что, перевертаться, я мечтаю снова. Вот что, перевертаться, перевертаться на лед.
Hey, that's some nice music. Hey, uh, where did you get that? Sorry, Arta. This part of the station is under temporary time. lockdown. Hey, Only the guards may pass. I'm sure you don't regret getting it. Sorry. I can't let you through yet. I'm sick and tired of this I shit. Too. Why do I put up with it? Blin, Mom told me to keep away from you. That you were no good. And she was right! Ну ё-моё, will you ever shut up? Знаешь, the question of who should have stayed away from home is still open for discussion, you know? A house? A big one? And when your mom comes back, we'll show it to her and she'll be happy. That's going to be a great surprise for her son. Okay, I'll draw that. Daddy, when is mom going to come back? Soon. I wish she could see how much you've grown. comes over and says, Baby, if my wife could cook like you, I'd be the happiest man in the world. I don't want to hear about your nightmares. You got a good so I ask him, we can go can't your wife cook at all? And he says, Actually, I'm not married. <laughs> That's sweet. So go for it, girl. <laughs> Nobody home! <laughs> dirt everywhere, just dirt. People are filthy. Who's that? Our Tom, is that you? Everywhere. Is everything all right? Sorry, I'm dirt? busy right now. Well, your shit, okay? Is that you, Pete? Can't you open it yourself? <laughs> Lost the keys again. <laughs> Go find the keys! You know I can't get up, idiot. Hey, hey. Not who's, a who's there? To clean it up after them. Ah, sure, well, let me get some rest, will ya? Will be my watch soon. Get lost, Archum! should go. You got no business here. Prison is a place for thieves. Yeah, that's how it is. I've been caught. I was put in charge of radio monitoring. 
Our hope was to contact the government bunkers over the Urals, but those bunkers were the first to be hit. At first, they didn't directly target civilians, and nobody thought this would be the war that would end it all. As I was monitoring the radio, I picked up a lot of weird stuff in the beginning, too. Siberia was silent, but the others did transmit, including the strategic nuclear subs. The subs kept waiting for orders. Should we hit them? No one could believe Moscow was not there anymore. Naval captains wept like kids on the air. The crewmen were begging me to check if their families were among the survivors. But I couldn't do anything. Some of the sub crews decided to get their revenge and went to their launch positions. Others reasoned that since the world was doomed, more killing was pointless. The subs continued to come back on air for a long time. They could stay submerged for half a year at least. Some of them were destroyed, but not all. I still shiver when I remember those days. Hello, doing well, I presume? Not bad at least. Artyom, please. Look at this. My son is a real helmet. There is a stun in the middle of the I'll bring you back as soon as the guards are patrolling ahead and some to the rear. Sure, more than enough protection. So, we were transporting cargo once, with usual detachment. Two men ahead, three in the middle, one behind. Everything was fine until we had to go through Spur Tunnel. There was this stench in there, and some kind of mist. We couldn't see more than two meters ahead, so we tied a rope to the belt of the rear guard, to one of the center guards, and one to the fore guard, so not to get lost in the fog. Safety line! Again, by the book. Fuck the book. This is what I'm telling you. We start walking. Halfway down the spur, the rope attached to the rear guard suddenly goes slack. We yell to the guy. Nothing. Tolia, who's in middle, pulls the rope to him. It looks like it's been beaten off. The rear guard is gone. No trace, no sound, evaporated. Tolian just stares at the rope, scared shitless, till I drag him away. Even when we've cleared tunnel, he doesn't say a word, and hasn't to this day. Jesus Christ. He taught me one thing. If your number's up, no one can save you. Your squad mates just slow you down or make you bigger target. So now, I patrol alone or with just one partner. Except for the tunnel between Dry Station and Curse Station. That's a special case. Mm-hmm, as you wish. Good weapons make good soldiers. Drunk again. How could this happen? Your choice. And there won't be if you don't get your ass home. Yes, Let's go. Move it, you wine sack. Listen to her at home, all right? Don't bother me. I'm going to handle it myself. Ha! Such one happy family for you. I have the best selection. A perfect customer satisfaction. Go ahead. It's yours. Good luck then! Hello, Arthur. Look, I'll give the book back to you tomorrow, okay? I haven't finished it yet. Artyom! Where's your gear? No, go to the armory and get geared up! Hello, Arthur. So, what do you make of that new guy? Hello, Artyom. You need some weapons? Okay, let's take a look. Submachine gun, 5.45 caliber, made in the armory. It's got poor accuracy and overheats like hell. That's why they call it a bastard gun. <laughs> Use short bursts, Artyom. Help yourself to some ammo, too. Here's a universal charger to keep the battery powered. And a gas mask. Put it on if you crossed any radiation hot zones. Or 
God help you go up to the surface. Army issue first aid kits, just in case. Okay, you're supplied, my friend. Feel free to try out your weapon on my firing range. And uh, you try not to stick out your head too much, okay? One day we could go back up to the surface? I've never seen Moscow, just the old pictures. Moscow's gone. Soon we'll be gone too. And the monsters will inherit the Earth. But there were other subways. In St. Petersburg, in Minsk, in Kiev. People might have survived somewhere else, or at least for a while. But so many years have passed now. The other cities in the Hi, how are you, Artyom? Come in, son. You're ready to set off. Good. You've probably heard that our station is creating an alliance with Riga. We're sending them a couple of railcars with humanitarian goods, some weapons and some miscellaneous gear. That's the cargo you'll be looking after. It's not a very long trip and it should not be too hard. Artyom, one thing before you go. I can see that you look up to Hunter, but a ranger's life is different than ours. They are reckless, even violent by nature. There's nothing to be gained by playing the hero, so stay clear of trouble. See the caravan to its destination and come home as soon as possible. Goodbye, my boy. Get a break for a smoke. Hold that ladder! Steady up! Joining the caravan! Good it luck right. to you then. I told you to hold it! I'm still out! I don't hear! Hear! Move it! Privia! So you're ready to move out? If I demanded that thing, I'd go near. Are you ready? Well, let's go then. You take that seat, Artyom. And you, Eugene, take this one. Did anybody forget anything? Sua, so, uh, you get your gear? Let's go then. Hey guys, going to Riga? Yeah, we are. Can I get a lift? Sure, but no free rides. You'll have to pull the lever sometimes. <laughs> I can do that. Let's go then. I'll ride it then. Good luck to everyone staying home, and to us too. What? Let's go. Good luck to us. So, are you ready to finally be somewhere else? Whoa! Artyomka! Free at last, huh? Well, for as long as the ride takes, anyway. Should be fun. More dangerous. Even better, right? <laughs> It was the first time I had left the safety of my home station. 
It troubled me that I hadn't told my stepfather the truth. I would not be heading straight back from Riga. But Hunter was depending on me. So, where are you from? Riga. I'm making the rounds, buying merchandise. Well, I bet you've seen a few places then. Yeah, the market is right go, next go, to go, Riga, go. and that's a big metro already. I used to make regular trips to Polis, but getting there now requires a lot of luck. That or being yeah, from Hansa. Well, I'd here. love to ride Hanka. that thing. Hansa connects to the whole metro and has a lot of stations, but doesn't welcome outsiders. And if it's not Hansa, then you have to go through the Reds, the Nazis, or your regular bandits. And these guys are really going at it lately. If they're not fighting everyone else, they're warring with each other. Military caravan got stuck near Alexeyevskaya. A tunnel collapsed, or other shit. You have to use the service tunnel bypassing Alexeyevskaya. Ah, fuck. I hate this tunnel. All right, Peter. Open up the gate. No point being stuck here forever. Why? Well, what's wrong with that tunnel? Well, it's an ordinary tunnel. Not as well lit, maybe. I went through that last month, and, well, I just don't like it. That's all. A safe trip. We are riding a hand car and we're on, so I think we'll make it there okay. Oh, damn, that's my hand hurt. If you help push the lever, we'll get there sooner. Okay, Eugene, you go help the men. We should move faster here. You watch the back, aren't you? Sure, I'll help. That way we'll get to Riga in no time, right? Now, we should get out of here sooner. It's scary when they're around. And I pity them. Them? Who, who, who them? Can you hear them weep? Who do you mean, them? What are you talking about? Huh? What, what the hell is going on? Boris? Bo Boris? Boris? Hey. What? What's happening to me? Uh, Artyom! Over here! If we, if we are, are to survive, survive this, this threat, threat must, must be eliminated. eliminated. No, no matter, matter the cost. cost. Eliminate. Oh. Oh. 
going on? Shit. Wake up, people! People! Wake up, for Christ's sake! What is... What is... Wake up, warriors! Shit! It's no good! Riga station was only the first stop on my journey, but the caravan went no further. So, before parting ways, we drank to celebrate our survival. The vodka didn't drown my fear of traveling on to Polis alone, but I was about to find myself with an unexpected and notorious partner. All right, boys. Let's train to our friend Artyom, who goes right through monsters and anomalies alike. To Artyom. To you! Hell, if not for you, Artyom, we'd have been shredded like cabbage. You deserve a medal. <laughs> or at least some extra ammo. Here, take them. To you. Artyom! To you! Artyom! You really immune to that shit? See if that shroom vodka knocks him down, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got to check that. To our luck! And... To Artyom! To your health! Uh, the vodka kicks everyone's ass, huh? So tell me. The tunnel to market's closed down and I'm bored to death sitting here on my ass. We passed through some kind of invisible wave. We all blacked out. When I came to, there was a horde of Nosaliss chasing us, but our friend Artyom was okay. Seems that tunnel shit <laughs> didn't affect him. So he was shooting the bitches. Man, I don't even know how we made it to the roadblock. I'll drink to such a nice guy too. За Артема.
Thanks, boy. I'm selling a lot of drinks because of you. find better rates in the whole metro. Good deal. Wow, did you really come here on a hand car? Yes, I did. Wow, I'd love to ride that thing. Could you give a bullet? Hey, kid. Beg somewhere else. Oh, I really should be going now, or else I'll get a spanking. Yes? Be careful here. Food. Food. I have to eat. Give me a couple of bullets, please. One bullet. I'm so hungry. Thank you. Are you Artyom? Hey, there's a man at the Black Street waiting for you. I'll guide you there for one bullet. Thanks! Let's go! Let's go! 
Catch up! Where are you? Hey, let's go! That's him sitting over there. Well, I'll be going. Bye. Come here. You're Artyom, right? Sit down. Everybody calls me Bourbon. Listen, I need to get to Dry Station for some business, but this rat hole is on lockdown. I, however, know a back way. A so-called cursed passage the locals are afraid to use. But... I hear the shit in the tunnels doesn't work on you. So, you help me get to dry, I'll give you my AK when we get there. Deal? Good. Here's an advance payment in case you need to gear up first. Are you ready? Sitting in this crap hole is useless. Раз, два, три, четыре, раз, два, три, четыре, их судатушки, право репатушки. Раз, два, три, четыре, раз, два, три. As I entered the abandoned tunnel with Bourbon, I wondered if I'd been wrong to trust him. But the station gates were still sealed, and there was no telling when I'd have another chance to leave Riga. Great, we broke free. Now keep your eyes peeled. The handcar ride is over. Lots of tough guys died in these tunnels. But if we watch each other's back... It's just a single lurker. They rarely attack groups of people. But if you're alone, watch your ass.
shit, caravanners. They're all dead, I know that style. Bandits. And Hansa boasted that they'd wipe them out. Ha! Ah. Ah, now keep your eyes peeled. They won't let us pass freely. Alarm system. Ancient, but quite efficient. If you want to arrive unexpected.